It has been said in this life, if you have anything to pardon, pardon quickly. Slow forgiveness is little better than no forgiveness. Real wisdom, according to the Bible in James 3.17, God's wisdom begins with a holy life and is characterized by getting along with others. It is gentle, it is reasonable, overflowing with mercy and blessing. Now most of us find it very difficult to forgive, especially the people that have really hurt us. And this is life. There will be some folks that hurt you along the way. And when we find it difficult to forgive them or forgive them very, very slowly, well, that's too bad because life would be much simpler for us and more pleasant if we could forgive people once and for all and be totally done with it. Forgiveness is seldom that easy, though, if you're honest. And usually the decision to forgive is straightforward. It's the process of forgiving that is more difficult. Forgiveness is a journey that requires time, perseverance, and prayer. Sometimes daily to remind yourself that this is the quest that you're on to forgive once and for all. If you sincerely wish to forgive someone or something or some situation, pray for that and keep praying. And while you're at it, pray for yourself too. Asking God to heal your hurt and don't expect forgiveness to be instantaneous or even to be easy. But rest assured that with God as your partner, you can forgive and you can enjoy a life of peace with those around you. In my seminars, sometimes I teach a holy word and I want to teach it to you. It is a word that uh, is based on forgiveness. Now, often we hear forgive and forget. Well, truthfully, you won't because you have impacted so much power and emotion in thinking about the harm that it will always stay with you. But you'll get to the point, if you practice prayer and forgiveness, of this holy word being said in you. Here it is. Nah. It happened. But so what? I'm beyond that now. It's like thinking back on childhood and something that happened in the playground once upon a time. Nah. It has no power over you anymore. And therefore, it means that you're more powerful than the event, more powerful than the circumstance. You're better than that. And that is real power, my friend. And it can be yours as you practice forgiveness.